Good afternoon folks, Jason from JCTV back here once again. Uh, we have a new unboxing video for you. Uh, before I get into that I just want to say thank you to uh, everybody that has uh, subscribed recently, uh, whether it be from the 50 subscriber uh, video that I did or uh, just in general, thank you one and all, and of course to my uh, long time subscribers that have been here since the beginning, thank you very much, I do appreciate it. Uh, anyway, um, this box that I've got, I believe it's from Pop of the Box, and the, uh, people that have been watching regularly know there's been a hell of a lot of messing around with these people, I don't know what they're playing at, I really don't, um, so I'm not sure whether this is the five pops that I'm due from this month's order or the remaining six from last month's order because they came up with some bollocks about how the other six from last month they didn't have in stock so they haven't been sent out yet but if you have five in stock to send me this month then you must have had stock available it's, it's weird, I don't get it, it it's they're all talking out their asses, basically. I, I don't understand. Anyway, let me get the box. We'll bring it up. We'll see what's in there. Hopefully, it's something half decent and they packaged it all right. And it is what it is. Um, normally, I'd put a referral link in the bottom, but I'm so pissed off with these people, right, that I'm not even going to bother. Um, don't get me wrong. If you go online and you go on Facebook and you go on their uh, message thing on there to the customer service they do try and help they really do um, fortunately I think it's the people that are in the distribution bit that don't know their arse from their elbow so your your guess is as good as mine as to what they're playing at anyway yeah. here we go there's the box so I would say there's quite possibly five in there or it could be six, we don't know. Let's find out. We got the orange scissors. Orange scissors. <laughs> Not gonna say that for a little bit. Right, let's get in here. Come on, crack it open. Let's see what we got. Come on! Get the fuck on with it. <laughs> okay, so we have bubble pouches in here. That's something. Uh, bottle pouch. Oh, 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 uh, no, right, okay. Now that's looking, that's looking somewhat better than you see that. They're still not well, well wrapped because it's just sort of kind of placed on there a bit. And I think I've got a bunch of figures, but I don't even know what the hell they are. Anyway, here we go. Whee! The first one so far so good. We've got Cable from X-Men. Another cool one. Now that I do like. Uh, we're just going to give them a going over. Check for impact damage and all the usual nonsense. I think we're okay with that one. So he's pretty sweet. Then we have... Oh, hey! Awesome! Now this is brilliant. This is fantastic. I didn't expect to get one of these. This is amazing. Mick Foley. He is a wrestling god. I've actually met the guy one time at a TNA show. Um, the guys are freaking legends. Absolute legend. The box is slightly scuffed and it looks like it's been well handled with fingerprints all over it, but I think for the most part that's pretty cool. Um, I haven't been showing you the back of these, so let's quickly do this cable one a minute. So you got cable, archangel, uh, quicksilver. And then the ones down the bottom I've got, where you've got Psylocke, Sabretooth and Storm with the uh, 
No hook. And on the back of the McFoley one, we've got Finn Balor, Mick himself, uh, Goldberg, who sucks, and AJ Styles. So I am well chuffed with that one. I'm surprised to get that one. I love that. That's great. All right. And then we have another WWE one. We have Ray Wyatt, who quite possibly has the best theme tune ever. Now, anybody who's into wrestling uh, recently should know who he is. Right, great, great character, great character. Right, uh, on the back of this one, we have Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, Bret Hart, you see that very well, and who else? Alright, Eva Marie, who I don't even know what she's doing on there because I don't even think she's with WWE anymore, and she always sucked. Bloody awful, awful bloody wrestler, and no personality whatsoever. Um, even for I Candy, I would say no. Because I think that's all she was there for was eye candy. Um, uh, yeah, Kevin Owens and Bray himself. That's sweet. Who the bloody hell is this? Right, well... They still haven't done it quite right. They got Bellamy from the 100s. I've no idea who that is at all. That means absolutely nothing to me. Um, I suppose this could this could be because I didn't thumbs him down or whatever. Uh, I don't know. Um, I'll show you the one from the back. That means absolute dick to me. Uh, well, you fucked that one up, popping the box. Well done. Still, I suppose they've got most of them right. And the final one, which they have got right, is Duff McGann from Guns N' Roses. Uh, this one's all that. You've got Axel, Slash and Duff. And um, yeah, I just need Slash now for the set, which I'm hoping I get relatively soon. He's one I did once, so that's all right. Uh, again, uh, good condition. Yeah, yeah. I'm quite. Generally speaking, that's a pretty good haul. Um, apart from this Bellamy, whatever the fuck that is, um, don't really give a shit about it. Um, I could send it back, but if anybody is interested in it and wants to do a swap for another common pop that they might have, uh, let me know and we maybe come up with something because I really can't be asked to deal with their customer services anymore. Uh, I'm just after the week I'm out chasing them around. I'm really not that bothered. Uh, anyway, whichever you can go back in there and fuck it. Uh, we're going to do some quick, quick, proper looks at these. We have, so there's, there's stuff quickly. And we've got your shades and everything on. I do like the way they do hair on pops. I really do. Like, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but just the way they do, like the lines and all the rest of it, and you know, it, it's not just one moldy bit of plastic. They've actually taken the time to to sort of stylise and that. And it's got this guitar and all the rest of it. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh, and he's falling over. Just what Axel did as well. He fell over as well. They're all drunk, they've all been on the blooming cocaine and <laughs> crystal meth or whatever. <laughs> this one is, is, is so
so going to go up with one of my favourites. Absolutely love Mick Foley. I hope, I hope they do the three faces of Foley, which I did love, Cactus Jack and Man I really hope they do those, because that would be awesome if they did a three pack of those. But there he is, the McMaster. Looking very good, looking good, sir. He's actually the reason I got into American uh, wrestling back in the 90s. Uh, saw WCW Worldwide, he was one of the first things I saw, and he was an absolute loon. And I thought, if they're doing wrestling like this, I've got to keep watching. And, cliche as it sounds, the rest is history. So, on a cable. He's looking pretty sweet as well, the old bobbly head. So what I mean about the hair though, they just make it work. And thankfully, I like the, what they've done with his eyes as well. So he's got like a standard eye and then he's got like his, I suppose what's supposed to be his robotic eye. Um, I can't fully remember exactly how it happens, but he's got some like techno virus connected with him. Sort of makes him half sort of robot and whatever. Um, he's nice as well, I like that one. And then on to Grey. I wasn't initially going to go for any WWE figures, but there's a couple of characters that really do stand out. Um, I might see if, um, I know they'll be expensive now, but I might see if I can get a, a Rock and the Stone Cold just because that's my era. People say, oh, you should get Bret Hart and. Um, the ultimate warrior and all that, but I never really followed them that much. Not really. Um, you know, so it doesn't really appeal to me. And anyway, there's Bray, you know, his hat and everything. It's a shame, oh, the only thing I would say is, with him, it's a shame they didn't put like one of his weird Hawaiian shirts on that he wears to the ring, because that would have been even better. But, all in all, all in all, and I'm sorry this has been a, a rather long video because we're looking at the time. Ah, not too bad. 12 minutes, 12 minutes. I'll try and keep these relatively short. But, actually, Mick should go to the front because he's, he looks a little bit smaller there, doesn't he? Oh, Motley Crue they are. We're not Motley Crue, we're Guns and Roses, you bastard. <laughs> oh, that was a fucking awful joke. <laughs> right then. That's them. Oi! So yeah, he's done it again. Guns and Roses figure. So he's got an uncanny neck for falling over. I swear they're on something. They really are. Right then. That is it for today, folks. So, yeah. Pop in the box. A lot, lot better. I'm still not going to put the referral link because I'm, I think I'm basically at the stage now where the only stuff I'm going to get for them is if I know they have it in stock. Because it's too much dicking about. But we sh I'm, I'm, I'm supposedly going to get another six come through. When? Don't know. I've got to keep chasing them up. Uh, but yes, that, that is it. Okay. Uh, so, thank you very much for watching, thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't, write some comments below, ring the old bell and slap that old subscribe button as well, uh, and please let all you know about the JCTV. Uh, I'm going to be doing some more videos relatively soon, I'm going to get back into doing these on a more regular basis, so I do apologise for that, but um, yeah, fingers crossed we're doing a bit, a bit more and one thing I would ask you a lot when you leave some comments below please please if there's anything you want me to talk about whether there's um, a new subscription service that you've come across that you haven't tried yet and you'd like me to try it can't promise that I will you know obviously I'm not going to do anything like beauty products or anything like that right uh, or ties or whatever 
but it's something you think that looks relatively cool. Jason would like it as well. I want to see what it's like. Let me know. I'll find out the cost. Give me the details. I'll find out all the costs and everything. And yeah, quite possibly I'll get one. I'm always willing to sort of like have a little experiment and try new services if they do a good job. And if not, obviously I'll tell you. Oh uh, yeah, that's it for today. Uh, thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for more. Catch you next time, folks. Take care now. Bye-bye.